CataractCoach.com, enlarge the capsular axis. With a dense cataract like this, a 4 millimeter capsular axis really is a punishment and not ideal. So here's the dense cataract. Tripan blue dye has been used. It's a 4 millimeter capsular axis made by the resident surgeon. That's not going to be ideal. Hard to remove a dense cataract through that small opening. So we'll use the small scissors here to create a little snip at that tangential angle right there at the capsular rim. Now using the same capsular excess forceps, I'm gonna grab that and tear off an extra strip here and we'll still have a nice round, intact, strong capsular excess. But now look, the capsular opening, the capsular excess is now five millimeters in diameter. So while the diameter only increased by 25%, four to five millimeters, the area of the capsular excess increased by 56%. Remember, pi r squared, right? Now it's much easier to remove this dense cataract and these dense nuclear pieces through the larger capsular opening. Remember, this is a dense cataract. It's not going to have a small, dense endonucleus. The whole nucleus is going to be dense. So it's a larger diameter. And by having a larger capsular opening, it makes it a lot easier to get these cataract pieces up to the iris plane where we can emulsify them, chop them, remove them from the eye very efficiently. Also, less risk of inadvertently hitting the anterior capsular rim with our instruments, with the phaco probe or the chopper. So definitely, we want a five millimeter capsular axis, or even five and a half millimeters in a very dense cataract. In fact, if it's a super dense cataract, I don't mind if you make a six millimeter capsular axis, six and a half, even if it doesn't overlap the optic. Because to remove the cataract, it's gonna be a lot safer. But here's a beautiful five millimeter axis, and that looks great. Finishing up the case here, a little bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the lens cortex, polish up that lens capsule. This resin did a beautiful job. Filling our capsular bag now with our cohesive viscoelastic. Look at that, Rexus. That is great. Here comes a single piece of acrylic lens going in the capsular bag. The way we enlarge that Rexus kept it strong. There is no weak point. So now you can see the end of the case. That's a beautiful overlap, six millimeter optic, five millimeter Rexus. That looks beautiful. Important lesson. Check out cataractcoach.com. Even more important lessons. Sign up for the free daily email. We'll send you a video like this right to your inbox. You don't have to search on YouTube. Check it out.